Black Mirrors, Mad Meals. Welcome to another edition of Bad Mirrors, Mad Meals. Today we're going to do twice as nice steak and chips. The chips are going to be fried twice and I'll show you how to do that. Get all your ingredients together. I've rinsed the mushrooms and the tomato. I've got a red onion, some spinach, potatoes and some fillet steak. Put your pan on to start heating but we don't want it to heat up really a lot like you do normal chips. Now you're supposed to have a thermometer for this but I don't have one so I'm going to guess. So the first one you heat it up to 130 degrees so it's not like really burning. Peel your potatoes and then you're going to uh, chip them and put them straight into the pan for about 10 minutes. Four potatoes should be enough for two people. Cut your potatoes like this but if you're uncomfortable doing it this way just put them down on a chopping board and slice them on the board. And the oil I'm using is sunflower oil but you can use a uh, rapeseed oil as well. Let's just check this. Yep, that's not too hot, so I'm going to put them in for 10 minutes as it started sizzling. No, not this bit. While the chips are cooking for about 10 minutes, I'm going to slice the onion. Right, just slice your um, onion. I've got a red onion here, but use whatever onion you have. One onion is enough for two, and then that goes in the pan next to cook until it's just all soft. I've just got um, a tiny bit of butter and some uh, sunflower oil. Right, just mix it all in and then wait for it to uh, cook through. But when you take the chips out, um, they can drain on the kitchen paper. Put your tomatoes in as well. And then once the um, onions are a little bit softer, I'm going to throw the uh, mushrooms in as well. Flip your tomatoes over and last of all, once um, the steak's going to be done, you leave your spinach until last. So that only takes a few minutes to just to wilt it down. Right, I think the chips are ready to come out. So let them drain. You can actually do this the day before. Put them in the fridge overnight or, or even for a couple of hours. They, they are even better if you've got time to do that. They're part cooked but they're still, they haven't really browned. Now I'm going to put the uh, mushrooms in. Butter mushrooms these are. Yeah. You can always throw a bit more butter in if you think it needs just a little bit more. Put a sprinkling, just a, a little bit of pepper over the top. I've got a griddle pan here but you can use whatever pan you want for the steak. It has to be really hot. Put a little bit of oil on top, olive oil. You rub it in. Make sure you got get some on both sides. And then pepper, put a bit more there. Just rub it into the pepper and then leave it. Now the steak has been out of the fridge for about an hour because it's supposed to make it tender if you leave it out of the fridge so it's not cold when it goes into the pan. I'm gonna flip the tomatoes over again. You can cut, cut it now until it heats up. That's what they do when they're filming, you know. You better not leave any shitty bits in. <laughs> No, I want it a bit hotter than that. No. So, so <laughs> we're going to wait because I can't do anything else. <laughs> Once it's really hot, you put your steak on and just leave it alone. Don't keep moving it about. If you want it medium, because I usually like mine medium, you leave it for about three minutes on each side. Okay, so three minutes this side. Flip it over, three minutes on the other side, should be perfect. Obviously, if you want it more well done, go away! <laughs> if you want it more well done, then add another one or two minutes each side and then... Yeah. Once the steak is cooked, you're going to take it out of the pan and let it stand for five minutes at least before you eat it. That shampoo's quite nice, isn't it? Must get more. Might get it while it's enough. You're not filming now, are you? I think that's been about three minutes, so we'll flip it over. Sometimes those steaks with the really thick um, fat on it, you can score them a little bit and hold it like this to cook through the fat first before you 
put it down on the, like the flat side. They're almost done, so what I'm going to do is put some butter, just a little bit of butter in this pan, and a tiny bit of oil, which is going to be for the spinach. The chips are probably going to have to go on quite soon, but once I take the steak out, I'll put the pan on because you need to let the steak stand for about five minutes before you eat it. And that's minimum five, you can leave it longer. I'm sure the steak is cooked, so we're going to take that out and let it sit on the plate while we do the chips. We need to put the oil back on and heat that up for the chips and then we'll be done. I mean it looks a lot the spinach one bag but really once it wilts down I mean that's just enough for one person. Smidgen of pepper. Prepare your little bowls for the chips. Put a bit of um, kitchen towel down. Stay. Be all right once the chips go in. I'm going to put the uh, this on as well. Leave it on a high heat. And once it starts wilting down, you'll be able to mix it a little bit better. So just keep stirring that so that it all gets coated in a little bit of oil and butter and the pepper. And if you've got a lot of spinach like this, just literally a splash of water rather than adding more oil and making it all greasy. Whoops, lost one. <laughs> You can throw it. Once it gets to this stage, turn it down and just leave it to carry on wilting and keep stirring. I'm going to put the chips on now. Right, the oil is hot enough now, so I'm going to put them all back in. Remember, normally these would have been in the fridge uh, for at least a couple of hours. And that should only take five minutes. They've already started browning, so it does not take long at all. Some kitchen towels down, just to drain it again. The spinach is almost done. Okay, I think the chips are done actually. That was really quick. See? After just five minutes, I don't believe it, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Even I don't believe it. <laughs> This really does save you time if you've got guests to pre-prepare your chips. Right, I think we're done. And dinner is served. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if there's anything you want to see me cook, um, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Mad Mears, Mad Meals. Mad Mears, Mad Meals.